Headquarters Announcement 2020-0107 Regarding Two Serious Issues The following announcement is regarding two serious issues. The first issue, regarding the surging COVID-19 pandemic around the world, Namo Dorje Chan Buddha III has edified the public numerous times that we must trust the measures taken by the governments and abide by the government's COVID-19 prevention regulations and procedures. Furthermore, Namo Dorje Chan Buddha III did not practice Dharma to turn up the so-called blessing Dharma water to prevent the COVID-19 viruses. The Buddha will never act in such a way that violates causality. The second issue. Someone suggests that all Buddhist dharmas, including the audio recordings of dharma and Buddhist texts imparted by the Buddha, must be authenticated through dharma adjudication before we can respectfully listen to or study. Such a view is ridiculously absurd, ludicrous, and foolish. It is an erroneous and evil view. We must unequivocally understand one simple but essential concept. Buddha's perfect enlightenment and divine capacity are unsurpassed and incomparable. Buddha's prajna wisdom is unparalleled and incomparable. Buddha's all-seeing might is matchless and incomparable. There are nothing Bodhisattvas and Arahats can hold a candle to. The decisions made by the Buddha are accurate. Which Dharma adjudication can surpass Buddha's adjudication? Therefore, the meaning of the Buddha's text and audio recordings of Dharma imparted by Namo Dorje Chan Buddha III is, without a doubt, accurate. Who could be a super Buddha that exists the Buddha to adjudicate the Dharma personally imparted or recognized by the Buddha? Could there be a super Buddha in the universe? It is pitiful to think in such a way. For those of Namo Shakyamuni Buddha's sutras, if Namo Dorje Chan Buddha III adjudicates them to be authentic, they were not distorted or falsified by mera descendants. Why do they need to be adjudicated again? For those Buddha's texts that the Buddha allowed the holy gurus to practice dharmas to determine their authenticity. It was to let the public have an eye-opening experience and be owed by Buddha dharmas inconceivability and supremacy. Anyone who believes it is necessary to adjudicate Buddha's dharma must be an ignorant and incompetent idiot. World Buddhism Association Headquarters August 23rd, 2020